This video looks at ratios and in particular looking at a situation in a word problem. So in this case what we've got is a person is exchanging US dollars for Australian dollars and we know that for 100 US dollars they get 145 Australian but they want to find out how many Australian dollars they'd get if they tried to exchange $1,500 which is in American or US dollars. Now there is a ratio that exists here because we know that if we double the amount of US money, we double the amount of Australian money. So the ratio is 100 to 145, that's US dollars to Australian dollars. So what Ted wants to work out is how we can use that ratio to determine how many Australian dollars he's going to get. So we'll put that as a ratio. First of all, we'll express the ratio that we know, which is 100 to 145. And we can see that there in red. And in light blue, we'll put the other ratio, which involves the amount of Australian dollars, which we don't know. So that ratio is 1,500 to an unknown amount, which we put there with a question mark, and that's shown in light blue. So what we'll do is we'll take those same ratios and we'll express them as fractions. So we've got 100 over 145 for our first ratio and 1,500 over the unknown amount, which we'll call x for our second ratio. Now to solve a problem where we have one fraction equal to another fraction and it involves an unknown, what we can do is use a process called cross multiplication. So what we'll do is we'll take both the denominators from these fractions and we'll multiply them by the numerators on the opposite side. So we can see here with the arrows that we're going to multiply x by 100 on the left hand side and we're going to multiply 145 by 1,500, which is on the right-hand side. So when we do that, we see that we've got 100x, which is our algebraic expression for 100 multiplied by x, and we've got 145 multiplied by 1,500. Simplifying that result, we get 100x on the left-hand side, and the product of the two numbers involved on the right-hand side is 217,500. This becomes like an algebraic problem now, and to find the value of x, what we do is divide both sides by 100. In other words, the opposite of multiplying by 100. And when we do that, we get that x, the unknown amount of Australian dollars, is equal to 2,175. So that's how much money Ted's going to get if he exchanged 1,500 US dollars based on the exchange rate presented at the start of the problem. So what about another question, this time involving Helen, where she's got the same exchange rate, in other words, 100 US dollars for 145 Australian dollars, but she wants to know how many US dollars she's going to get if she swaps for 2,000 Australian dollars. So what we'll do is we'll do this problem the same way. We'll write the ratio that we do know, which is 100 to 145, and that's in red. And our other ratio, we're going to put this time the unknown value first in our ratio because we don't know the number of US dollars. So that ratio is an unknown question mark to 2000 representing the amount of Australian dollars. So again, we'll take those ratios and write them as fractions. So we get 100 divided by 145 on the left side and an unknown amount, which we'll call U, divided by 2000 on the right hand side. Again, if we're trying to solve a fraction involving an unknown, what we can do is a process called cross multiplication, which involves multiplying both denominators across to the opposite sides, numerators. So in this case, we get 100 multiplied by 2000, and on the right hand side, we get 145 multiplied by u. So 100 multiplied by 2000 gives us 200,000, and 145 multiplied by u will write as a single expression, 145u in algebraic terms. Now to find the unknown value u, we divide both sides by 145, and doing that we get 200,000 divided by 145 is equal to $1,379.31, and that of course is in US or American dollars.